Okay. Next example. Consider this. x squared minus 2x plus m equals 0. Find the discriminant and hence find the values of m for which the equation has a repeated root. Okay. So, we're going to say b squared uh, equals, delta equals b squared minus 4ac. So, delta would equal, let's see, my uh, b is negative 2. So, that's negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4. a is 1, so I'm not going to put it there. And c is m, so 4 minus 4m. Okay. So for a, I needed a repeated root. Well, a, a repeated root happens when delta equals 0. So I'm going to say 0 equals 4 minus 4m. And if I solve, negative 4 equals negative 4m. And m equals 1. So in order for me to get a, a repeated root, I need just one solution, which again, it would factor into a repeated or double root. Um, and for that to happen, I need m equal to 1 for this particular equation, because that would create a, a, a discriminant of 0, and I, would have, uh, I wouldn't be able to add or subtract anything, and I would get one solution. But again, that is a repeated root. B, two distinct real roots. Well, that means I need delta greater than zero. Okay, so that means I need, I'm going to rewrite it this time. I should have done this in the first place. 4 minus 4m must be greater than zero. So solving, I would say negative 4m is greater than negative 4, and m is less than negative 1. So that means for any number less than negative 1, I will get two distinct real roots because that will make my discriminant, there's my discriminant, my discriminant will be greater than 0. It will be positive. Okay? And then for there to be no real roots, I would have to say 4 minus 4m has to be less than 0. Solving, I get, again, uh, it's really the same thing here, isn't it? Um, it's just I started off with a different inequality, so we can quickly do this and um, divide by negative 4, which switches the inequality, so m must be greater than um, 1. Oopsie, n must be greater than 1. Look what I did here. I hope that was bothering you. I need to erase that. Uh, re-explain it. A negative 4 divided by negative 4 is um, a positive 1. So m must be less than 1 to be uh, to get two distinct roots because I would have something positive uh, under the square root. Here m must be greater than 1 because uh, I would have something negative under the square root which would give me no real roots, no solutions, and equal to 1 to have 0 um, under the square root, the discriminant equal to zero, which would give me um, a repeated root, one solution in a repeated root. So, sorry about this little mess up here. Um, and that's all we got for the discriminant. See you soon.